Hi guys, it's Cece. Um, welcome back to my Black Bow Hatsure Miku work logs. So, um, as you may be able to tell, I've done a bit of work off camera. Um, if you remember last time, I had just finished the bodice and I ripped the zipper in half. So, um, I did end up picking up a longer zipper, but it's not a separating zipper. And I'll explain to you guys how that's going to work in just a second. Um, but if you look right in front of you, I actually am pretty much done with the top tier of the skirt. Um, basically, it's just a circle skirt, and then um, I wanted it to be more ruffly on my left hip because there's going to be a really big bow there with a bunch of flowers. And so, if you can tell, I just put in a couple of pleats at the top here. And I did that by pinning this to the dress form inside out and I would made a couple of pleats. I made the circle skirt a few inches too big when I cut it out and then I just pinned it so that it would fit my waist and um, now I'm going to attach this to the bodice and hopefully install the zipper. Okay, so now I have my bodice attached to the top um, tier of the skirt, and as you can see, it is still open. And um, once again, I'm going to try to install a zipper, and this time I have a 12 inch uh, invisible zipper, and as you can see, it is non-separating. And um, yesterday after I messed up, I tested out um, this zipper in my bodice, I just kind of pinned it in place and uh, pulled it on over my head to see if I, it could fit, and it did fit. So um, the zipper is unfortunately going to have to go down the skirt a little ways. Um, it shouldn't be too bad, it should only have to go about halfway down the skirt, but um, again I'm not going to show this because there's a whole bunch of different ways to do zippers and um, not to be mean, but I kind of think that you have to experiment with putting in zippers and find out what works best for you. And um, yeah, so I would, if you don't know how to put in a zipper, look up a tutorial and I will come back when this thing has a zipper in it. Bye! Okay, so here we are the next day. I actually didn't have time to do the zipper last night, but um, I did indeed get it to zip in the back, as if you guys can tell. Um, but it fits really nicely. I'm really happy with how it feels. Um, I don't feel like um, I'm suffocating and I also don't feel like it's going to slip down or anything and the skirt looks pretty nice too. I'm not really sure what I'm going to work on next. I could do the big bow that goes on right here where all these ruffles are or I could start working on the rest of the skirt um, but I'm not really sure what I'm feeling up to right now so we shall see. Okay, so um, it again, it looks like I made a lot of progress on this dress, but I actually really didn't. The um, only thing that I have added since uh, the last time I filmed was this underskirt here, and what this is, is a really giant circle skirt. Um, it attaches here at the waist, so um, that's the reason I had this overskirt attached to the bodice was so that you couldn't see a seam between the top and the skirt of the dress. Like, what I mean by that is I didn't want all the different skirts all attached to each other and then like if I bend backwards there will be like a gap between my waist and the skirt. See if I bend back you can really see a difference and that's what this top skirt is actually covering. Um, so that worked out really well. So um, this bottom skirt is about 42 inches long. Um, I measured the distance from my waist to the floor while wearing my hoop skirt and then I just made a circle skirt and there's a zipper up the back and yeah this skirt is just going to serve as a base so that I can sew all of the other layers of the skirt onto something. So yeah, um, I actually am running low on fabric because this bottom skirt took up a lot more fabric than I expected it to. It took up almost five yards. So, and I only bought seven yards in the first place, so I'm probably gonna go have to go back 
to Joann's, um, but that's not a super big deal. Next, I might try to finish up the bodice. Um, as I mentioned, there's a big bow that goes right here, and I bought the last of the flowers, because there are a couple flowers that go on top of the bow. I bought the last flower yesterday, or the day before, so um, I might do that, or I don't know. I might make the uh, second layer skirt that goes under this, but uh, yeah, that's all for this vlog, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!